Welcome to the Tall Timbers Tour. We're starting off at the road and heading up the drive. We've got parking for a couple of cars there. And then this is the front garden area with the pond and all the ornate planting. And heading on up the long drive that curves around up to the next level with parking for two cars. Uh, there's more planting. It's a theme you'll note in this house as we go around the garden. In the carport, we've got games, barbecue, outdoor table, tennis table, all that sort of stuff. And then as we head across the front of the house, there's a little seating area there for some morning coffee outside the kitchen. And the side path and the gate out to the back garden, which we'll see in a bit. Heading into the house, we start off with the hallway and the stairs and the little landing up there. And then making our way through, firstly to the lounge. And here we've got seating, uh, we've got three seater sofas, a couple of them, and two armchairs. And there's a television with Freesat and Netflix and BBC iPlayer, all that sort of stuff. Uh, in the kitchen, there's a little seating area there for a few people for breakfast. And uh, you see the kitchen itself is nice and bright and airy. And uh, it's got everything you could possibly need, tons of glassware and crockery and cutlery. And I think pretty much every kitchen utensil you could think of, I challenge you to find one that isn't in the house. And uh, it's got all the other stuff as well. It's got a five ring burner and a large oven, a toaster, microwave, we've got an air fryer, we've got all the tea and coffee making stuff and a dishwasher and a tall fridge freezer as well. Uh, there's a pantry at the back here to store your food while you're staying at the house. And then you're into the main bathroom, which has a massive bath, a sink and a toilet. And in the cupboard over here, you've got all your linen and towels, should you need to make use of them. Uh, the first of these bedrooms is the dorm room. Uh, this sleeps six. And although it's made up primarily for kids, these bunk beds, uh, obviously adults could sleep in them as well. I've had groups of grown men sleeping in these beds and uh, didn't have any complaints. And that connects directly to the conservatory. So you've got the two-seater sofa there. That's also a bed and uh, video games, things like that. And there's the seating area for people to have dinner. It's set for eight at the moment, but there's a second table as well. Uh, with another six chairs, so you can seat at least 14 people in there. At the back here, there's that little seating area there on the low patio, and uh, more planting, like I said. Uh, the garden's built on several levels because it's built into the Venta Cliffs. Uh, we've got a little lawn area here with a wigwam and then the lover's seats on the chamomile lawn that is uh, much nicer in the summer, this I videoed in the winter. Uh, heading through to the other end of this area, we've got uh, the large patio with nice views out the end there. And there's, it's a real sun trap um, whenever the sun is shining. And uh, there's a little seating area here that gets super hot in here and nice and toasty. And you've got views of the sea, which you can't see today because it's a misty day over the channel, but uh, you can see the sea through there. At the back of the garden, we head up the cliff steps all the way to the top deck, which is the highest point of the garden. That's all the cliff that's built into. And here you've got views across the whole property and across through to the channel. And again, you can't see it today, but uh, it's nice up here for a coffee and a chat and to look out at the sea. Back indoors, downstairs, underneath the stairs, we have the Harry Potter bedroom, uh, which sleeps one child usually, but uh, again, occasionally adults do sleep in here. And uh, I mean, as you can see, it's pretty Harry Pottery in there. To the right of the entrance door there, we've got the front bedroom. And this has a king-size bed, a little view out the front there and door access to the driveway. Uh, there's a pull-out sofa bed for, to sleep one. And uh, it's got a chest of drawers and bedside tables, all that sort of thing. As you can see there, there is the ensuite shower with a sink and a toilet. Getting back into the hallway, at the end here, we have the utility room where you've got your spare bits and pieces, tables, high chairs, and a washing machine and a tumble dryer together with ironing stuff. And uh, just behind me there is the downstairs shower room, which I forgot to video, but that's a picture of it. It's got a shower and a sink and a toilet in it. 
Uh, this can be made up as twin rooms, as you can see, or as just as a king-size bed. And uh, it's got plenty of seating and cupboard space and drawer space, all that sort of thing. And lovely views out the back to all that planting. Across the hallway, we have the master bedroom with uh, a ludicrous amount of drawer space and two large wardrobes. That one over there has um, uh, extra uh, bed stuff in there, pillows, that sort of thing. Uh, it's got a king size bed and an ensuite bathroom with a shower and a toilet and a sink. So there you go. That is Tall Timbers. And uh, we hope to welcome you soon. <laughs>